Hey guys, me again, welcome back. And today, we're gonna to be running a couple miles on the track with the Saucony Tombogo Butterfly collaboration shoes. We're gonna see if these things are actually running shoes or if they're just pretty to look at or not so pretty to look at. So let's get into it. All right, guys, I uh, did two miles because it's a track, and uh, whenever I, I used to run track in the military, it was for a PT test. That was like the only time we ever ran on track, and that was a that was a two mile timed run to see how well you did. So, I'm not doing more than two miles on that thing. Anyways, so Saucony and Tom Bogo came up with this shoe. It's a three in one. They say it's a three in one. In reality, I think it's a two, a two in one because I think you can still get away with wearing this as a minimalist shoe and you can get away with, but by itself, no. And I'll explain that in a little bit. So did two miles with these shoes running out there on the track and first mile felt good. I'm like, oh, okay. Saucony Power Run Cushioning is doing wonders. Wow, you can see that, definitely ran on the track. About a mile and a half in, I started feeling the tightening and that is something that I felt when I wore these shoes yesterday. I wore them for eight hours uh, up in Charlotte yesterday. I went to Ikea, which, I recommend everybody go to Ikea. I'm just gonna put that out there. No plugs, no sponsors. I just love Ikea. And then we went to uh, Concord Mills out the mall up there. The shoes felt good through Ikea, but about halfway through the outlet mall, it just started getting tight. And I did wear socks because I wore these in the museum a couple times without socks and they felt fine. But after a while, one of my toenails started rubbing up against the inner liner and it didn't feel good. So went around the outlet with the, uh, with the socks on Ended up taking this part off, walking around with this with socks. So I was that old man or 14 year old child because my daughter loves wearing her Crocs with socks. I don't understand that one. And my feet just kept slipping in this. It's just too big. Like I can't show you right now cause I'm sitting down, but I could easily stick like two fingers in. So I'm just sloshing around in this thing in the mall. So because of that, I don't think this should be by itself. The, the sizing is just really weird. Like I said, this felt good the first mile. The mile and a half started getting tight. And if it was getting tight while running and it was getting tight while walking, I don't think this is really a good size 10. If you wanna do really short workouts with them, sure, and I mean short. I, there's no way I would wear these for a 5K run. Besides them looking really weird and uh, getting dirty super quickly. My feet were just pulsating by the end of the second mile. And I don't wear wide shoes normally. So I don't know what's going on with these. I might end up doing a uh, one month later review with these, but right now, these should not be worn for running. Uh, they should be worn for a short amount of time. Saucony and Tom Bogo uh, sell these for 120 US dollars and they're in whole sizes. So there's no nine and a half, 10 and a half, 11 and a half. They even say it on the website that if you need a half shoe, go up half a size which may work in theory when you're wearing it as a whole piece or when you're just wearing the inner, but wearing the outer clog, crock, whatever you want to call this piece by itself, no. That I feel like needs to go half a size down or maybe even a whole size because that's how much room uh, there was with my foot in this thing. All right, uh, if you have any questions, let me know down below. If you like what you see, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Till next time, bye guys.